Hi there, it's Gillian here from Rustic Journals. I hope you're all well today. I've just come on to do a flip through of a journal that I've just finished. It took me quite a while to do this journal. Um, it has got four signatures and they're all quite packed. So it's turned into a bit of a, a, a gator mouth. <laughs> so yeah, it's a fairy slash enchanted forest uh, journal. So yeah, uh, front cover was just uh, done with, I think it was a cereal, a cereal box with fabric uh, glued and stitched on. And then this collage topper here. Right, oops. So the inside cover, we've got a nice big pocket here and a really big journal card tucked into that. And then we've got a little flower fairy journal card here. I think this might be the first journal that I've done where I've used my sewing machine. And this is just a, an old uh, vintage napkin that I glued and stitched on to this page here and then popped some cute little fairies on there. And I've just done some stenciling and some washi stickers uh, on book page here and then a pretty lace pocket there. Now here we've just got a little journal card there, tucked into, it's actually a little, oops, uh, how can I get this closer up? <laughs> yeah, it's actually a little fairy house that I've made into a little tuck spot there, and then a cute wee fairy here in her mushroom house. And this was uh, an attempt at ruffles. This is the first time I've actually made ruffles with a sewing machine. So, uh, yeah, I popped one in here. Cute little squirrel eating his acorn on the tree there. <laughs> and I love this ribbon. So pretty and fall colours, isn't it? And then we've got a big journal card with another flower fairy backed with coffee dyed paper there. Oops. I made a pocket here out of a uh, book page and just, uh, oh, actually, yeah, it was a napkin that I decoupaged onto the book page here. And then this is actually wallpaper. I fussy cutted out the, the branch with the leaves there and glued a little fairy on there. And then we've got another journal card there. And then that's just coffee dyed paper to journal on and some more journal space here. And then these cute little pocket that I made there out of an envelope. I think it might have been Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda that I got that idea from. And then we've got some uh, mason jars with fairies inside and backed for journaling. And another decoupage uh, book page here to make a pocket. And then we have a, a tag, which has also got a journal card inside the tag. So the pages are actually quite, uh, you know, there, there's quite a lot of embellishments and things, but there is a lot of journal cards for uh, journal space. I'm just noticing a pocket there. I need to put something in that. There, a little mushroom. Uh, oh, no, it's upside down. <laughs> yeah, mushroom journal card and a leaf tuck spot there. And this was a snippet roll that I made. I chopped a bit off to make a pocket.
That's uh, just a, a plain card that I've embossed and inked. And I don't know if you can see this. It's a washy mason jar. I've just put a little tree and butterfly inside it. I think this was, yeah, this was a cute uh, fairy poem that I liked. So I uh, printed it off and glued it in. And here we've got another uh, lace type pocket there. Uh, what's this? Yeah, just a, one of these guest ticket things. Now over here, cute little charms, a little key and a feather. journal cards and just some collaging uh, there onto onto paper I think this is a double yeah double pocket here so we've just got some cute tags here and then over here coffee dyed paper a little charm on there and this is just kind of plain for journaling space as well and then over here we have this uh, hidden journal spot here and some uh, tickets have popped into a pocket that I made out of vellum and this bird has got a tag coming out of his beak here that I made with a little teeny key. I don't know if you can see it. There we are. And then this uh, this is just kind of collage for some decoration here. But it's, it's not a tuck spot or anything like that. Uh, I've just done some stenciling onto here and stitched on a, a fabric doily to make a pocket. And then this page here, it's all just decoration. This is actually fabric that's been stitched on. And a little fairy's postcard glued on here. And a, again, another of my ruffles that I've made. Now, yeah, a belly band here. Well, it was meant to be a belly band. But then when I stitched on that fabric, it kind of stitched down the belly band. Uh, so I've just kind of used it as a you know, little tuck spot bits to put these cute little cards into. <laughs> and that's the first signature. This is the beginning of the second signature. So we've got a pocket here with a little journal card uh, and some stamps, faux stamps there with, uh, I think I put card between them to make them a bit thicker and used it as a tab and we've got a cute dangle there and another journal card and some journal space there oh and you pop some pretty ledger paper here and then again that was part of the snippet roll and uh little envelope there with I'm not sure what's inside it ah yeah just coffee dyed paper in that one and then over here we've got uh, a tuck spot with some journal card and paper okay and just some paper there with fairies on it pretty and then over here we have an up tuck if you take this out it kind of well, I suppose you can see the line there, but it's meant to be like a hidden up tuck and a postcard there. And then we've got the fairy on the path there. And there we have just some plain coffee dyed paper. Some pretty uh, vellum with leaves printed on it. And then this is... This really pretty paper. I, I had it in different colours. I think I used one in my sewing journal that I made. And this here is a 
lovely little envelope that I made. And it's just got some cards inside there. And I did some stamping and coloured uh, coloured in the the stamps to brighten them up a bit. Uh, some digitals here with some fairies and whatnot glued down. More digital for the middle one and we've got some dangles there and then this feather is it's only glued down in part so that I could use it as a some oops a small tuck and again more fairies here glued on and a butterfly up here ah yes this uh this here's a pocket as well and then I've glued down this cute blue birdie here and the butterfly again is a tuck and then here we've got another fairy poem, a squirrel. Gosh, it's so jam-packed, the pages are now staying open. <laughs> and then that's the back of the vellum and the pretty paper again. And some coffee-dyed paper. And then we have a, a fairy song, F Fairy's Glitter it's called. So I just printed that off onto coffee-dyed paper and glued that down with some lace behind it just digital here and some more of my snippet roll with a, oh, a postcard backed onto coffee dye paper there uh, and that's the back of the ledger paper and then I've got two pockets here not sure what's in them. Uh, just some plain paper. And I think another another fairy song, Fairy of the Forest. I'll put them back in the pockets after because they're fiddly. And then that's the end of the first signature. And we have another one of these uh, tags that's got the, <clears throat> excuse me, the journal cards inside there. <clears throat> Excuse me, gosh. Now this is like roller blind samples, this uh, material. And then we've got some more ledger paper. Well, it's the same, same type uh, with some collaging on it there. And we've got a treble pocket here. So we've got a uh, foxglove postcard I think that backed with avocado paper I think this was on uh, Tanya from Tatty Treasures freebie page on maybe her buy a coffee or something like that I think and then another journal card and another journal card and then we have a pretty pocket here with some autumn coloured leaves and a journal card. It's actually a book, a book page uh, from a vintage flower, wildflower book, I think. And I've just done some stenciling on it, some washi down here, and a cute little fairy up there. And this is coffee dyed paper here. Again, coffee dyed. Some digitals here with some wee owls there. Uh, that's just a. A journal card with some autumn coloured leaves. This is like a digital of uh, a dictionary page. And then we have a pocket here. And this is a letter uh, from a from the inspiration fairy. <laughs> and then more of the snippet roll. And I'll put some fabric, stitch some fabric onto the... Uh, this page here. Yeah, this uh, this journal really did take me a long time to do. Just some uh, collaging and whatnot onto the pages here. And that's the the poem that was on the first signature. I just printed it off smaller again and put it into this pocket here that I made. 
just an envelope with some lace glued on and a ticket. And here we've got another of these uh, vintage book page that I have stenciled and collaged onto. Made a small belly band here to hold this little scrappy notebook here. And a, oops, a cute little tag here with a brad on it. In your pot. Mm, digitals with some collaging. And this actually, I'm not going to undo it just now, but this, this uh, opens up and we've got this envelope here. Cute little charms. Uh, and if you open up the envelope, we've just got a scrappy notebook and a pocket with some fairy tickets in it. Now, I'll fasten that up later as well, save time. And then uh, this opens up and you've got some journaling space here, some stenciling onto the paper. And this here is a, uh, like a pocket, secret, uh, secret garden it says. And I put some vellum in the, uh, the window here and we have a flower fairy journal card that goes inside and then you can it does go in so you can see the fairy through through the vellum as well and then these two pockets here this is actually made from vellum with well vellum that has flowers printed onto it and then we've just got flower fairy journal cards in each pocket So cute, that one with the blue tit. And I love this pocket here. It is so cute. Again, I put vellum in the window bit. And look at that wee birdie that I put on. It's actually on a swing. I don't know if you can see the swing. So cute. <laughs> so yeah, that can be popped in there and you can see the cute birdie there. And then I've just stuck some mushroom images onto this digital. And then we have a little fairy. It's hard for me to lift this up to let you see. <laughs> yeah, we've got a little fairy uh, sitting on top of the mushroom there. Uh, now I've just kind of made a, a side pocket here out of uh, leaves. I printed off these leaves individually and just glued them all down with a wee squirrel at the bottom there and then we've got little hedgehog and our mushrooms there on the journal card and then some journal space here and collaging and that's the back of that dictionary page more of the snippet roll i ended up using most of the snippet roll in this uh, in this journal actually and it was quite long. Now that's just some digitals there and I've glued some fairies. It's like she's on her knees looking up at this one who's looking at her flowers. Pretty. And then I just put some leaves under a label here. And I glued these pretty autumn coloured leaves and acorns there. Coffee dyed paper with some paper banners. And then this is just some collage in here and some stamping actually, yeah. And I've popped some pretty ribbon down the edge there. And that is the end of that signature. Now this, I think, is this the last one? Yeah, this is the last signature we're on to now. So this page is actually made out of wallpaper. And we have a pocket here and some um, trim with twine stuff with uh, like faux leaves on it and then I've got these two pretty cards to put into the pocket here uh, now this page here this is from a, oh what's the lady called most journalers have got her books is it Edith Edith Holden I think it might be 
uh, yeah, it's from her recipe book or a recipe book that she did the images for. So pretty. Um, yeah, so I made this little side tuck here and inside it we have a cute fairy card and a little envelope, probably just some, yeah, just some coffee dye paper inside that one. And then more coffee dyed paper here. And then we have a fairy here that I've used as a tuck spot. And I've just popped some vintage, a vintage book page with uh, napkin decoupaged onto it in here. And then we have some more of this vellum with leaves printed on it. But these leaves are more like a yellowy fall colour. And then we have a digital here with a little envelope here. Again, I think that's just got some coffee dyed paper in it. And then a coffee dyed, I think that might be tea dyed actually, a doily. And then here we've got a hidden journal spot. Now this page, I think, was book page that I decoupaged some uh, napkins on. And then I've stuck down some of this trim with the leaves on it again. And, uh, is it bur bur burlip or something like that? That stuff's called. Uh, yeah, and I made a pocket out of it. Stitched some buttons on and a motif thing here. And then we have a, a journal card inside. And then we have a pocket up here. A little mini journal card. Thought that one was cute. <laughs> and then over here, just uh, two journal cards in a pocket with a pretty white owl. And then we have an owl stamp up at the top there as well. Some page trim there. Now here's a book page pocket that I've done, and a big journal card to to go inside. And this pocket here is actually made from the cover of a book that I had and I just fussy cutted it out. Cutted, I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> and then I've just made some uh, tags to go inside it. So this bits are glued down here. It's just actually this bit here that's opened. And then some lace down the, the edge of the page there. And then middle of the signature here. And this little squirrel here that I've glued on is a tuck spot for this cute bit of paper here. Um, just some journaling space on coffee dyed paper there. Now we're almost at the end now. Yeah, more coffee dyed journal space. Now this was actually a page from a, a book I have about trees and I glued on a fairy door and I glued on this uh, fairy like wagon type thing. It's, it's like the things that Romany gypsies have, like the old styled wagon on wheels. And then I uh, glued on another fairy door up here and popped on these leaves round it. Now, here we've got another side tuck with some collaging on it. And uh, a specimen card here. And that can just pop in there. And then that's the other side of the doily with a dragonfly. Oh, and there's flowers on this side, yeah. Uh, this isn't a pocket, this is just on here for page decoration and that's more of the snippet roll. And we have a, a scroll here saying, by discovering nature, you discover yourself. And then we've got some more of the digitals and I've glued down this deer and the little fairy going into her house. This is just some trees collaged onto coffee dyed paper. So we've got some journaling space in here. And here, and I've just made this little 
tag to go in this pocket here just a small one and then we have an up tuck here with another page from the vintage wildflower book which again i've done some stenciling and collaging onto and then obviously that's the other side of the edith holden book page and there we have it that is it all done and dusted I haven't decided yet what I am going to use for a closure. I think I've got I've got this thick uh, lace, wide lace, I should say. Um, it's like a lemon kind of colour. So I'm, I think I'm probably just going to wrap that around it rather than attach on anything here. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it all finished. That should be up on my Etsy shop tonight. Well, thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye now.